Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to take a few minutes and show you how to quickly and easily add additional data series to a, an Excel chart. Now, I have another video showing you the more uh, complete method, which you can use when your x-axis on your additional data uh, does not match the original x-axis. But in this case, we're doing forecast, and so our x-axis is always the same, and it makes it easiest for us to add these things. Let's start making our basic chart, and I'm going to select the data here. We've got some sales, and I'm going to go all the way out to the end of the forecast period, and then do my insert recommended chart, and I'm going to get the one without the dots, and click that. So there's the basic chart, and we've got our actual world sales there. So the first one I'm going to add would be a, a simple uh, three-period moving average forecast, and I'm going to select the data again. It's important that you leave the empty sales there so that your x-axis match up. If I started copying here, then it would put 1704 in January, and that wouldn't work. So I'm going to select there and copy down to the end, and just control C to copy it. Then just going to click on my chart outside to see dots or the circles on the outside. Right click, paste, and that's added my second data series. And you can see it offsets which we want, and we've got the one additional month of the forecast. Now I want to do it again. This is using the forecast sheet, so it's giving us the full year that I, I specified out into the future. So I'm going to select again, including all those empty cells, and go down to the end of my forecast. Control C to copy. And go back up here, click on again the outside of the chart, right click, and paste. And there is added my forecast. Of course, I can add the legend. One final thing I wanted to make you aware of that I forgot to put in the first part of the video is sometimes when you think you have empty cells, there's something hiding in them. And if there is something hiding in them, it will show up when you plot and mess your graph up. So what you can do to make sure you're okay there is to put NA in there, and I'm going to put equal NA, and then click on that to start it. I've got to give it the second closing parentheses, and then I can just drag that down for my empty cells. Of course, I would do that here too if I had a problem. Then once you've got the NAs in there, you can click on your chart, this time the inside of the chart, right click, select data, and again, this is the method you would use, the long method that I have in the other video, but we click on hidden and empty cells, and the default is gaps, which is what we want. But check here. Uh, I've already got it to show NA as an empty cell. But if you've added the NA to get rid of some hidden problems, check that and then click OK and then click OK. And that should get rid of the, any hidden data that might be lurking here that we're not seeing. So again, I hope this helps.